I'm Michael Clark with Angry Cars, and today in the shop we're going to do some troubleshooting with the Phytech fuel injection system. If you're experiencing a hard start or a stumbling after start, this video is going to show you one of the most common causes of the issue and how to test for it. Today we're going to go through the steps to verify that the white wire connection on your system is properly connected to a constant 12 volt circuit during both key on and cranking. First, find the connection for your Phytex white wire and disconnect it. Most generally, this should be a connection in your fuse box. Disconnecting it will prevent you from starting the vehicle while we're doing these tests. Using a voltmeter that's set to measure DC volts, connect the black lead to a good known ground source. Then connect the red lead to where the white wire was connected. There shouldn't be any voltage on the voltmeter until the key is turned to the on position. If you are showing voltage with the key off, then this is an unacceptable connection for the white wire. The white wire cannot have key off voltage. Now turn the ignition key to the on position. Don't crank the engine at this time. The voltmeter should be showing 10 to 12 volt DC. If it's not, then double check your connections. With the voltage showing on the meter, using the ignition key, crank the engine over and watch the meter. If the meter reading goes blank, that means your connection doesn't have constant voltage during cranking. If the voltage drops while cranking, that's okay. It just can't go blank. If your voltage did go blank on the meter, meaning that you don't have a constant 12 volt circuit, then you're going to have to find a different connection for your key on and cranking voltage. This is most likely the cause of your hard start or stumbling after start issue. If you've got good voltage with a key on and cranking, disconnect the voltmeter and reconnect the white wire. If you're still having a hard start or stumbling after start issue, then additional troubleshooting or tuning is going to be needed and we will be covering it in separate videos. Thank you guys for watching this quick troubleshooting video and I really hope it helps. So please take some time and watch some of our other troubleshooting and repair videos.